The way the story goes is this, about 230 million years ago, this new group of reptiles called the dinosaurs emerged on the supercontinent of Pangaea. This was back in the Triassic period. And those first dinosaurs were small. They were humble. They were not top of the food chain animals. They were not giant predators, anything like that. But dinosaurs diversify in the next two intervals of time, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous periods. And this is when the world became overrun with all the dinosaurs that we know and love. Meat eaters the size of buses, plant eaters with long necks, bigger than Boeing 737 airplanes, and all kinds of species with horns and spikes and frills and duck bills and clubs on their tails and domes on their heads and all of these fantastic features, characteristics, quirks that we see when we see dinosaurs in a museum exhibit or dinosaurs in a film. Now, dinosaurs really did thoroughly dominate the world during this 150 so million years. They were the largest animals on land and they filled so many roles in their ecosystems. But, of course, today we live in a very different world. 